Hi everyone, my name is Tammy Hessler. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, don't forget to click the subscribe button because I have lots of beautiful paintings coming up that are super easy as well. So don't forget to subscribe and let's go with this one. Okay, so first I'm gonna block in the cliff area using a Mars black and a yellow ochre combination. And I don't use any white because um, it appears muddy to me, so I don't care for um, putting any white in here. And before I did any of this, I did sketch out where I wanted my wolf to sit. And I have a template if you'd like to follow along with this exact painting. Um, you can grab one of the templates off of my website or you can just kind of eyeball it and look around get some ideas um, of what you want your wolf to look like and just sketch him out a little bit on the canvas first and then block in the cliff around him. Okay, we're going to start on the background and I'm using a Mars Black. Um, mixed with dark magenta and some titanium white. And to begin with, I took the black, the Mars black, and mixed it in with the pink. So what you're looking at is not a straight pink and white. Um, but we want the, the bottom to be a little lighter because the wolf is black. So you want the contrast. Um, you want the wolf to show up so I use a little bit lighter um, background at the bottom near the cliff now I'm going to begin to blend the light and the dark together and you may have to go over it several times to um, make it all blend in but in the end you're going to have a layer of clouds so it doesn't have to necessarily be perfect um, when you blend it because um, we're going to have the top a little bit darker so you can see the stars in the background and like I said the, the bottom's going to have to be a little bit lighter so you can um, so you can see the wolf. So the wolf will show up. I'm just blending in a little more of the Mars black with the dark magenta, so that you can see the stars. Now it's time to put the moon in. So I'm going to trace around a regular ordinary cup and I'm going to use a white chalk pencil. Now for the moon, I'm going to fill it in and I am going to blow dry it a little bit just to secure the white. And then I'm going to go over it with an ultramarine blue and white combination. And it actually will look pretty cool.
Now it's time to put the wolf in. So I have lightly sketched out a little area here and if you don't feel comfortable doing that I do have a template um, on the website on my website and um, you can just simply print it out and cut around it um, and trace it with that um, white chalk pencil that I used earlier and that makes it go pretty quickly or you can just just freehand it um, you can find several different um, uh, wolf silhouettes online you can use uh, different different ones you don't have to go with this but um, I thought it was kind of cool the color I'm using for the wolf is Mars black To create the galaxy, I'm using ultramarine blue, Mars black, and a little bit of titanium white. Now, to add a sprinkling of stars, I take a little bit of titanium white mixed with some water and just make it a little bit runny, and I'm using the old toothbrush trick. Uh, you dab some on your toothbrush, and then you just kind of flip the brush across the canvas, and it sprays white stars. You might want to practice on something else um, besides your canvas first until you get the hang of it. And I'm just going to go back in with the titanium white and dab in a few bigger stars so they show up from a distance.
Now I'm going to add some clouds and it just helps with the interest and to separate the light with the dark um, because you really do have to have it dark enough up top that the stars will show. And I try not to make it exactly even on both sides. So I'm just coming down with a little bit of white, pink, and black. I'm going to darken up the area underneath the clouds so they will stand out a little bit more. So I think this wolf turned out really nice. It is a beautiful painting to hang up and something you can be proud of. If you had fun painting it and you would like to see more in our simple silhouette series, then just click subscribe and I will be uploading quite a few new videos each week. Bye now.